And action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. What's going on, Tommy? What's going on is the weather's a little bit greater than it has been lately. I'm doing great. And uh, been getting a lot of yard work done. Right, that's good. I am on the road right now. I am down in Portland as we speak right now. And um, I'm doing a couple things to stay busy down here. And I shall be back home um, by the weekend and stuff. But until then, we have some YouTube slow video gossip news. So let's go to work and here we go. Chris and Tommy. Hey, this is Tommy Dreamer, and you're watching Top Level Media. Hi, I'm Rhino, and this is Top Level Media. Welcome back, everyone. So, Tommy, got to ask you, what's going on for this week? Okay. Um, well, David Dobrik has been putting his vlog on a hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic. And in the meantime, he's decided to uh, start some businesses up. Um, two of them have already started up, one being uh, David's Perfume, which there are two fragrances out now uh, you can uh, buy at $60 a piece. That was dropped just recently, October 2nd. Then there's this app that was originally just started as a photo app called Depose, but now it's turning more into a social media app. Uh, they just recently hired two uh, people to help run the company. And then there's also whispers in the wind that he uh, has teased a pizza shop, maybe frozen pizza, uh, and also people have been doing searches under his name, under, um, uh, patents and stuff and trademarks so that might that leads to people to believe in that that is very strong evidence to him uh, maybe possibility starting a pizza uh, line as well as a merch line too there's evidence of that too that he's been uh, hinting towards that so his fans are all you know doing their little uh, sleuthing around and uh, pick up all these clues so it's not like where some people go oh this is just possibility it may not happen no there's actually hard signs that this could be more uh opportunities and businesses that he's getting himself into uh that david uh, will be doing until he can get back into his vlogging so that's great that pizza that you're talking about the pizza business great the app that you're talking about it's going to help people out there if it's something that you've never thought of uh, based on an app for other people to hit up each other out there and talk to each other such as in a chat room or an app something like a chat app that's great because you have fun with chat apps but I would do something out of the ordinary that nobody's ever thought of and as far as a app to do is like I mean um, as far as a streaming app you know what I'm saying I mean you want to take it one step further when you're making an app and when you're developing an app like that so so more power to him. So like I said, okay. with the app, it's, you know, start off as a photo app and now they're moving towards the social media. So as of right now, uh, there isn't any um, more information of what it's gonna look like or what kind of features it will have. Um, but like I said, because they're just, they're just in the growing stages, like Chris, met, uh, Chris has mentioned. Uh, and, and, it, and he's doing all this, and he's only 24 years old, by the way. He's getting into, into these businesses and stuff at age 24. Well, that's great. So um, what you could do is if you're interested in looking up some brand new apps, me and Tommy will put the link down on the description down below so you can read more about the article. And not only read about the article, go try some of these apps and come back. You can come back to us and give us a good feedback on some of these apps that uh, David has done. So that's really awesome and great. So if you're interested in his uh, perfumes, the two that are right now, 
We'll also have a link down below to that website. So, yes, we will. So, um, we will have it down in the info, like we said, so you can look at the article, get back to us, give us good feedback and stuff like that too, how you like the apps with David. Next, we have uh, Eddie Van Halen, Tommy. Eddie Van Halen has passed away at the age of 65 due to throat cancer. One of the greatest guitarists of all time has passed away, like I said. Um, two days ago, his um, health deteriorated and it got worse, worse, and worse, and worse. And is if you guys know, if you guys know Eddie Van Halen, he has been basically going in and out of the hospital all year long with uh, battling his cancer. But he's had a decade of cancer as well. So um, if you remember him from like the vid music video Jump, if you listen to Michael Jackson Beat It, he did beat it. He's gone and done a lot and been very successful as a guitarist, as a music singer, as a writer. He's uh, he's awesome, one of a kind. I think it is uh, amazing that he's able to do amazing things. He was still able to keep himself, you know, over the last couple of years. Uh, I know that he was still doing stuff. He was still doing his best to record whenever he could. So that's amazing that, you know, he didn't let this cancer, you know, totally defeat him. You know, he still found a way to do what he loved even near the end of his life. Absolutely, Tommy. I agree with that. So why don't you guys put down in below what your favorite Van Halen song is and um, what you liked about Van Halen and what you remember about Van Halen. Did you guys ever go to a concert? Um, do you guys have a soundtrack of his? You know, I hope his uh, family is doing well, and um, I hope that they are getting the uh, time they need to uh, deal with his loss. All right, so that's all the news that we have. We'll see you around. Leave a comment, and Tommy, what can people do? Besides leaving a comment, you can like this video. You can subscribe to either of our channels. Uh, you can click the notification bell. That'll let you know when we put up uh, more videos in the future. And share this with your friends. All right, this has been a top level media. Stay safe out there. All right, bye. Bye.